have, like I said, there there are five people with Pebble around. So there are. Yeah. Really. Yeah. All right. So. All right. Go. Can you walk through the menu? For sure. Us? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Let me give a little demo. So, one of the one of the key right features the of. Um, of Pebble is the uh, the watch face, so being able to scan back and forth and switch watch faces is is definitely pretty cool. Um, this is one of the fuzzy time apps. Analog clock. I'll show you some of the mem me uh, memos, the uh, menus. We have uh, the music controller, which is I think still controlling uh, my phone back there. Um, you can skip tracks. You can skip tracks. I'll try this. We have a vibrating alarm. Oh, I forgot to show that in the demo. Um, you can set you can set an alarm here uh, to to vibrate at a certain time. Um, and we're planning on building that out to have a timer and stopwatch support as well. I assume it grabs the time from the yeah, from the phone. Yeah, it, it grabs the time from the phone exactly. Oh, goody. Would you mind taking off your wrist and kind of yeah, show sure. us the yeah. watch itself? Because I don't think anyone's seen that yet. You want to throw me the charge cable over there? Yeah. Just want make sure nothing walks off. Well. This is the back. So you can see that the uh, the lens here, it's actually a co-injection molded piece of car polycarbonate. So you have a clear lens over top of a colored section, and the colored section is, uh, is what we change for the different watches. So here's the uh, the magnetic charge cable that we designed. It can only fit in one direction, and it just snaps onto the side of Pebble like that. How long does it take to charge from empty to full? It takes about two hours. Um, and you know, keep in mind with Pebble's seven-day battery life, you can. Uh, that's, not, that's not a bad charge. You only have to do it once a once a week. How does it plug in? Will it come will it come with like an AC adapter? For, uh, for no, it's just a regular USB cord. So you just plug it into one of the uh, multitude of, of no chargers camera. that you might have. <laughs> can, it, yeah. can it work with like the iPhone AC adapter? Yeah, anything, pretty much any any. Can you USB show cord? us which buttons is which? Yeah, exactly. So uh, it's got four buttons on the side there. Um, We've got the back button, which operates uh, by just canceling out whatever menu you're in right then. Up and down, and select. Can I feel how heavy it is? It yeah, weighs 38.2 uh, grams. Oh, I'm not okay. going to be able to do oh, that okay. because we'd have to. <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool little uh, little um, watch face. It's called Tic -tac, Tic Tac Time. So it's actually the computer playing tic-tac-toe against itself. And right. the time is meant to be a scorekeeper. So whenever the X character wins, the uh, minute increments. And whenever the O character wins, the hour increments. But it's just a small example of one of the uh, cool things that you can do with Pebble. Here you can see how awesome the display is. Because like this, the backlight's off, and it's just running in its, in its mode. And it has an amazing sort of reflective display. And remember, this is inside, you know, under fairly dull lighting. When you get outside, it's just like a perfectly amazing display. Yeah. Well, watch this size. Do you see the usefulness of touch? Uh, so on the touch side, you know, we definitely looked at it. Um, we, you know, there are different ways that you can implement touch on this type of a device. Um, we opted against it mainly because we wanted to, you know, keep it simple. We wanted to become, we wanted to make sure that it was really good at what it does. Um, and by adding too many more elements like that, it gets a little bit more complex, and the opportunity to, uh, you know, screw something up might, might be there. Um, it does have an accelerometer, so it lets you do things like uh, tap, <coughs> tap, um, tap gestures. So we have one gesture enabled right now, which is the uh, the backlight, which won't work too well. Um, you know, I'm not yeah, going to turn it the just So it, so it, the uh, the backlight comes on, and it means that if you just flick your wrist, the the, the, the accelerometer picks that up. Like I mentioned that we have a, a magnetometer built into Pebble as well, um, but we haven't uh, enabled that in software, but it's something that we'll be pushing out as a, as a software update. Is it using Bluetooth uh, low energy? It has Bluetooth low energy capability, but right now it's connected by Bluetooth 2.1 to, oh, okay. uh, to smartphones. And that's because um, the phones that we wanted to support, like the iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4, don't actually have Bluetooth LE support. And, and the vast majority of Android, you know, Google, when Google comes out with a few more impressive um, uh, Bluetooth LE, APIs, then we can actually jump on top of that and start working with them because of the way that Pebble, um, the way that we put a Bluetooth 4.0 capable module inside. So you have an estimate for Bluetooth 4.0? So we, we don't have an estimate now, and that's mainly because most of the smartphones don't support it, and so we're not really, it's not one of our priorities. It, 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 can we take a look at some of the messages up close? Yeah. See how big the text is? Um, let me grab it.